Hi, today we'll be investigating the conversion of potential energy of gravity into a pushing force, kinetic energy, using the basic technology found in a car. We will see if a car will travel without a push or a pull from three different heights, measuring the distance it will run and then plot it on a graph. The children will be involved in the experiment, being safe and considerate during this activity. There will be a problem, a method, collecting and recording data, analysis and conclusion. Questions. The next lesson we will try the experiment using different surfaces, e.g. carpet, to explore the concept of friction. Here are all the items. You've got pencil, paper, measuring tape, little black car. We've got our ramp, which is recyclable, a CD stand, and we've got recyclable wood. And we are going to have it at the lowest level, medium, and then high. There will be a test done three different tests are three different levels. The first level, uh, you say I will place the car at the first level and see what happens. Nothing. So that is that that will be zero. Then he will do it on the second level. Sad, so please place it on the, the second level rung. Thank you. And release the car. Now we'll measure it with a tape measure. From that end, I'll hold one end for you. So how far is that? Can you measure it? Can you look at the centimetres? That is 50 centimetres. Very good. Okay. 50 centimetres. And then we'll do it, we'll do that three times. Now we're going to do the last level and we're going to do that three times. Release the car. Okay. So. I'll hold it from this end, you go to the other end, good boy. So just batch it up on the line. 70 centimetres. Very good. So here is the graph that I've drawn on the board to give the children an example. This is the graph that Sam drew showing the distance of the car and the ramp height. And just explain that you're colouring in the graph now. I am colouring in the graph now to make it more visible. In conclusion, we are converting the potential energy of gravity on the car into kinetic energy. Can we use the same principle to generate electricity? For example, if you think about water falling from a height to spin a wheel, in hydroelectricity. I want you to go home and do some research on the subject and then we'll come back and discuss it.